My friends, if you haven't guessed by now, this Call of Duty Heroes episode is featuring my buddy Tabor Hill. Tabor specializes in tips and tricks on how to complete some of the more difficult challenges in Call of Duty. When I reached out to Tabor and explained I was doing a video in his honor, he gave me two class setups. One is a sniper slash UDM pistol class that you're watching here, and the other is a pistol only Hornet class that you're about to see. Judging from these classes, I'm pretty sure he hates me or he wants to see me fail, but I gave it the old fashioned college try nonetheless. In any case, do me a favor, drop a like and please sub if you haven't already, and let me know in the comment section below who you would like to see in the next Call of Duty Heroes episode. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering why I haven't done the exclusive ace yet, but don't worry guys, it's a coming, it's gonna be a good one, stay tuned. Okay guys, I don't want to waste a whole lot of time on this, but I do want to show you the class setups that he gave me to work with, and here they are right here. The Tabor Over the Hill class setup, as I like to call it, uh, is right here with the uh, KBS Longbow Mirage and the uh, UDM Bonanza. Rocking, interesting choice with just putting a tra tracking chip. I would have put quick draw on this puppy. I probably would have put a suppressor too, but uh, he's not too worried about all that. So just tra tracking chip and the UDM pistol. Uh, extended mags. I like this setup. That's pretty solid. He likes the personal radar, ghost, dexterity, hardline, and dead silence. Okay, and then next, the try hard Tabor class is the pistol only class here that he's given me, which is he gave me the Hornet with extended mags and quick draw. Um, very interesting down below. Check this out. He goes exploding drone with nano shot. Guys, I've never used nano shot in my Call of Duty career up until now. And by the end of you know, trying to get gameplay content for these videos, I was actually getting pretty decent with it. So, um, not too bad. I don't know if it's gonna be my go-to choice, but it was nice to change it up and try a different play style for once. So, I'm really glad that he suggested this. So, uh, dexterity and blind eye. So, we're not off the map whatsoever. Not only can we not benefit from ghosts, we also don't have a suppressor. So, very interesting setup, and it presented some challenges at times, but it's still a lot of fun. The score streaks, uh, he said UAV, Care Package and Thor, and I cheated a little bit. I used the epic variation of the drone package, man. I say go big or go home, boys. Go big or go home. And then the Thor, I decided to use the Thor Nimbus because why the heck not? Why wouldn't you want to change directions mid-flight if you had the chance or choice? So anyway, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Hope you enjoy, and here we go. So we're on the map throwback. I'm running the pistol only class here. There's some long line of sights on this map, so things could get a little hectic. Get ready for some Mickey Mouse bull squash. Oh, <laughs> Tabor's here, ladies and gentlemen. Well, why do you say that, bro? I think they're in for a treat. Just keep on watching. Looks like we're up against a team of newbie boobies. Well, this game, yes, you're probably right. I mean, I'm not trying to say that these you know, enemies are amazing or anything. They got a couple good players on their team, but nonetheless, it's gonna be good entertainment. And hey, bro, you gave me the class setup, man. So just, you know, sit back, chill, and enjoy the show as I break this down. All right, anyway, so let's go ahead and get into it. I gotta be real careful of not getting caught out in long line of sights. I wanna keep all my gunfights close, like right here, for example. Nice, close gunfight. That's where this gun, you know, excels at. All right, so I'm gonna clear this building up. I throw my exploding drone, check this out. I, so this is actually kind of a long shot for the Hornet right there, but the exploding drone almost got the double bubble for me, but it hit the wall instead. That actually would have been a really nice play. It's a shame, it's a shame it was just barely off the mark. So I'm gonna try to take out a flank here and uh, see if I can, again, keep my gunfights really close. So I'm gonna jump up here and clear this out. Look at that, see, perfect. So right now things are actually going in my favor. Things are looking good. Thank you, Mr. Hill. Now, I forgot to mention, he did, I do have resupply on. So whenever I kill someone, I get my tactical and lethal back. Oh, check out this play right here. 
killed one guy, but another guy is up there camping. I think, you know what, maybe I'll catch this wall run and can take him out. We'll see. You scallywag. Yeah, I know. He is a scallywag. But you know what? There's nothing I can do about it because you gave me a hornet to try to take him out with. Absolutely no way I could challenge that guy. So I run away and that's that. But I live to fight another day, my friends. So let's let's uh, go on the other side of the map, see if we have any better luck here. See, that's just too far to win. Look at that. I have to run away from that engagement as well. That one's good, though. That one's all good in the hood. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try to I jump up here, try to get a little better attack position. Um, kind of, um, yeah, okay, so there we go. So my teammates are kind of clean those guys up. So um, now it's kind of rinse and repeat time. Time to see if I can get another flank or set up my next gun fight. And yeah, let's do it. So I'm, I'm pretty much doing the same thing I did a little bit ago. Again, that's, that even that, in my opinion, is stretching it as far as distance. You don't want your gun fights to be too far away than those two right there. Look at me, man. I'm just going ham sandwich, man. Look at that, man. Tabor Hill, do you feel me, brother? Okay, I, I bite off a little more than I can chew right here. I remember I don't have a suppressor, so they all come a running, and I tried to strike over to the left and then run, but yeah, it didn't work out so well for me. So, kind of got caught with my pants down there, but you know it is what it is. You know, nice little jump shot play right here. I wish I tell you what the ammo, this, this gun shoots so darn fast that I feel like I have to reload after almost every kill. So. Um, not the most convenient here, but at least we're into our claw. Let's go. Look at him laying down my... <laughs> got that kill stolen by my teammate. Um, nice little jump shot, but check this out. Look at this. That's crap. Really? Your MV4 beats my claw? Come on now. No way, man. I, I'd love to protest that. Look at that. Nice little jump shot again. You know, we're still doing pretty good. I mean, considering this is throwback with a lot of... Look at that long shot right there. That was kind of nice. Considering there's lots of long line of sights on this map... We're doing pretty good, you know, so I'm, I'm not mad at all. Um, throwing the drone. Ooh, I would have loved to got lucky and killed one of those guys, but didn't quite work out. Nice little jump shot action going on here. Oh, I almost got taken off that head glitch. I have to run from this. Got to run from it. Um, Try to get a different vantage point to fake him out. It's not working. Now, I know there's a couple people over here, so I'm going to be kind of careful. Boom, laid him down. There we go. And, oh, the teammate stole that one from me. But that's just uh, how the cookie crumbles sometimes, my friends. So we're going to push this barn. I know they're likely all spawning. i got to be careful. It's very hard to take on uh, any more than two with the Hornet because you just run out of ammo. You know, and even that's kind of pushing it. So, you know, it's not like I have a suppressor. I can stay off the map. I have to choose my path around the map very wisely. I'm hoping, look at that. Dang it, that would have been a nice exploding drone kill again, but it, uh, you know, hit the wall or something right there, but it's just too bad. So I'm doing the same exact route that I did before. Got a nice little flank already. Um, and I hear this guy, so thank you, Astro. Shout out to Astro A40s, man. I hear that guy stomping around. So I, I backtracked to pick him up and, um, you know, off to the flank here. Another nice little kill. Ooh, headshot. Thank you, sir. Again, again the exploding drone. Now, check this out. Hit my nano shot to reheal. Now I'm ready to engage the fight again. Look at that. That guy thought I was still up in the window. Snuck up on him. See, ah, oh, man, I ran out of ammo. So check this out. What do I got to do? I got to pick up this MV4. Is that a bottle of weed on the side, man? Sorry, guys. Sorry, Tabor. Hope your kids aren't watching this, by the way. Did you just call me a dick? <laughs> Sorry, bro, but you gave me a pistol only class, man. I ran out of ammo. I had to do what I had to do, bro. Sorry, man, but look, ooh, as I get the backfire medal. So things are looking good. And I'm, dro I'm dropping my care package here, Tabor, so start smiling. And it's not one of those little wussy ones that you're used to, bro. It's the big mama jama. Yeah, the epic variation. You know, it gave me the warden. So let's call in the warden. And uh, let's, let's let the warden do some work for us here. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to try to push up here with my MV4 at the bottom. We not switch back to my Hornet and uh, low on ammo. So I say, you know what, screw it. Let's just get the call out. So let's do some more of the call. We're into our Thor, by the way. So, you know, the, the Thor gods are smiling, right? Good movie, by the way, if you haven't seen the Thor series by Marvel. <laughs> Holla. All right, so let's get into the Thor. Remember, this is the uh, legendary variation, right? Which you can change directions. So, yeah. So let's just rain down on him a little bit and... Uh, Trying to pick out some kills. I gotta be careful not to hit my own warden because I, I think, uh, I, I believe I can take out my own warden if I'm a dumbass about it. So. All right, so that wraps up the first game. 31 and three, I'm pretty happy with that performance. Your performance was nothing short of wank on the cob.
Well, damn, Tabor. I didn't think it was that bad, but you know what? Maybe I like the second game a little bit better. I actually have some pretty good gameplay on the map terminal and lead the team to, well, I don't want to give it away. So I'll just let you check it out for yourself. But I think you're going to like this one a little bit better, bro. Let's cold cock these Willy Wink and Wiswogs into oblivion. Well, I like where your head's at, bro. But we just spawned into a game that's already in progress. And we're going pistol only on a sniper map. So, man, we have our work cut out for us. But let's just do it anyway. Let's go. So, I got to be really careful. Um, again, there's so many long line of sights on this map. It is going to be Troubleville for a pistol only class. But we got to do We got to make it work, man. We got to make this Tabor Hill class go ham. All right. Look at that nano shot. So, I heal up really, really quickly. And um, I'm starting to bite off a little bit more and I can chew a little bit. I'm into their spawn a little bit and now they know it, yeah. So again, they don't have a suppressor, so they're gonna know right where I'm at. I gotta be extra careful. A little reckless right there, but that's okay. We're doing all right. Uh, I'm gonna go back to get, I, I know that's my best bet is this little area right here. If I can get into that little flank room over there, I can go hand with the pistol and do a little spawn trap with it, okay? But it's kind of tricky. Look at that, nano shot again to heal right back up. Nice little strategy. And that's what I'm doing. Oh, my teammate stole my kill right there. Nice little shots. Okay, so see, that's the type of strategy that I have to utilize on this map right here if I'm going to be successful, okay? I'm trying to go over the dead body, the guy I shot, so I get my nano shot back. And boom, look at that nano shot. And what happens right here? The nano shot saved me. I was one shot there at the end of that gunfight. I'm gonna have to say a prayer to the nano shot gods or Tabor Hill or something for that one because I never would have used a nano shot if not for him giving me this class setup. So, okay, so this spawn flips, so I need to be uh, avoiding the middle of the map and taking this flank area. If I get caught out here, believe me, they're probably gonna oh, lay me down. Okay, so I have to like, I have to hurry up and get from A to B in a hurry without being seen. So I almost got to treat this like it's a melee weapon pretty much. So we got to see a guy sitting up on there. Boom, lay him down. Okay. Life is good. Here we are. And we're, see, I got to get in that room again. Remember what I said earlier? I have to get in that room if I'm going to be successful with the pistol. Okay. Boom. Okay. He's the only thing that stood in my way. Nano shot again. And we're in like Flynn. Stop camping your dick off and move, soldier. I'm not camping. I got a nice little spawn trap going here. See, look at that. I laid that one guy down. They're surrounding me. Look, check this out. Throw my exploding drone. That's not camping. I'm moving around, but I got a spawn trap. I got to be careful. I have to be patient because you only gave me a pistol. Nano shot. I'm into my claw. And all oh, the claw is dangerous when you've got a spawn trap. Case in point right there. My, <laughs> look at that, man. I just went ham sandwich and the comeback has been complete. I don't know if you guys noticed, but we were down this whole time. And uh, that just made the comeback. I'm into my Thor. I'm into my big boy uh, care package. And we're about to call it in, my friends. Right here, I gotta clear the plane. I, I wanna make sure that the area is clear before. See, I had to make sure it's clear before I throw down my care package because it's the epic kind, not the little sissy ones that uh, Tabor always calls in, all right? <laughs> so we're, we're calling it in. I'm gonna throw that just in case the guy's coming, running after me to get this. And I got a warden, boom, just like that. I meant to call in the warden right here, but look what happened. I, I opened the Thor instead, so now I just gotta let it ride. I'm like, dang it. It's a horrible place for my body to be in uh, when I call into Thor, but you know, it is what it is. I was trying to do it in a hurry and um, accidentally called in the wrong score streak, but that's okay. We'll get some kills. And this isn't the best map for a Thor because there's a lot of building, a lot of rooftop, but I get a few kills with it, so you know, I'm not too upset. It would have been a little bit better if my warden was out at the same time or, you know. Because I'm thinking we're getting like over halfway point of the game, but that's okay. It is what it is. Not that big of a deal. So as you can see, I'm trying to thread the needle a little bit. Um, very, very difficult to get kills, you know, when they're just all in the building there. But any ones that come out, I got their ass like that right there. So I'm trying to thread the needle. Anytime I see like an opening, you know, I'm going to take the shot. But most of these are missing. So, you know, it is what it is. You know. So, oh, there's one. <laughs> oh, I got a double bubble. Now I call in the warden, and I guess we got plenty of the game left. So, uh, but that was the comeback, my friends, right there. And I believe I'm the only single person on my team that's going positive right now. 
everyone else is just getting obliterated. I don't know why, but you know, it is what it is. So <laughs> I got to make sure that uh, I got my big shoulders so everybody can hop on this match. I'm carrying them all. Again, if you haven't noticed, I'm going back to what works, baby. I'm going back to that little room right there where I can get a nice little flank. Oh, a bit off more I can chew right here. Yeah, a bit off a little bit more I can chew. I can only take one out, man. If I had any other gun, I could have made a nice little double bubble, but the Hornet, the recoil, uh, it runs out of ammo so quick, it is kind of difficult. So, oh, this would have been right cool right here. Guy got away from me, but I tried to go find him. Nano shot because I got some fall damage. And where'd he go? Where'd he go? I'm trying to find him, but I wish I would have took him out in that little cockpit area. That would have been pretty sweet, but you know, it, is, it is what it is. We're doing good right here. 84 to 79. The game is still kind of close. So, you know, even though I got... You know, into my streaks a little bit. My teammates are hell bent on making me work for this one. They really want to lose for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. So, okay, the spawns flip, so I want to avoid the middle. The Hornet is not going to do a darn thing uh, in the middle of the map. I have to somehow uh, stay in the plane area. Oh, there, oh there's a guy right there. I got to stay in the plane area or flank, you know, all the short line of sights I want to take advantage of. So I got the claw. But I really don't want to use it right here because I'm not sure of where the bad guys are just yet. So, um, And the, the score is getting close, man. The score is close. My teammates really want to lose, but I really don't want to. Um, guy almost laid me down right there. So I'm going to reflank so he doesn't, you know, hit him from different angles, guys. Never stay in one spot, especially if you're using a pistol-only class. You know, you just can't afford to be predictable, right? So interesting scenario here. If you haven't noticed, the other team is now mounted a comeback of their own. And so what I'm doing, I'm kind of going into panic mode. It's like, man, I really want to win this game. So I'm like searching frantically, trying to find where the bad guys are at. I see a guy, a sniper over there. I don't know if he's sniping or not, but he's over in the common sniping area. I try to juke him out, try to find him. Uh, where is he at? I'm not really having any luck. But then I see a guy jump up there. I'm thinking, man, is that the same guy? Maybe it is. Otherwise, I wouldn't chase him. I, I believe that that's the same guy. So I'm chasing him down. Trying to find him, and here's a good time to pop the claw right now, but check this out! You scallywag. Indeed another scallywag. How the heck did we trade kills when I had the claw? Now I'm like really concerned. And look right here, it's tied up. But I don't know why I drive an automatic car when I just come through in the clutch like that! Holy cow, look at your boy Armlocks, came back. Um, now put us up for the victory. Ooh, had to hit in the corner, get an anal shot, and boom, my teammates finally did something. Look at that, 34 and 5, but look at those teammates. Oh my gosh, those teammates wanted to lose so badly. Anyways, thanks for watching, and leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of it, who you want to see in the next COD Heroes episode. And most of all, thank you to Tabor Hill for being a Call of Duty hero. Arm locks is out. And that, as they say, is that.